Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today I have a Kentucky straight bourbon on the cask. And it's not just any Kentucky straight bourbon, it's a Woodford Reserve bourbon. And there are many rumors about the Woodford Reserve. It used to be called Labrador and Graham and it, it's made of stuff from the early times column stills and yes there is a kernel of truth to both of these rumors it used to be called Labrador and Graham just the distillery was called Labrador and Graham I think they had the brand Woodford Reserve already and then the, in the beginning or in I think 2015 14 something like that they changed the name of the distillery as well um, they were closed in the 1970s and then they reopened in the year uh, 2000, uh, 1996, 1997, somewhere around then. And yes, they didn't have any whiskey at the beginning. So at the beginning, they did use the stuff from the early times column stills. So a very cheap whiskey, but that's long gone. And now you do only get the whiskey from the Woodford Reserve Distillery and you do taste that. Um, because the Woodford Reserve distillery was rebuilt and the mother company, Brown Foreman, really thought about what we want to do. And they came out that they want to have a, a very unique and very high quality distillery. So what they did is they didn't do column still, they did pot still. And they did three pot stills in the, uh, in the shadow of Ockentoshan. So they had a look at Ockentoshan and said, that's about what we want to have. And they're not that similar, so um, they have three pot stills and they are yeah, all in line. And they do turbo distillation, so yeah, but the shape is a bit different than Ockentoshan. So this is one of the very, very few whiskies in America that is distilled on pot stills. And what sets aside, uh, what they set aside from Ockentoshan is that they are American whiskey. So they do have different mash bills in America. The mash bill is the recipe of the grain that goes into the whiskey. So whereas the, the Scottish, they mostly do have single malt whiskey and Orkentoshan has single malt whiskey. Here we have four variants of whiskey from uh, the Woodford Reserve Distillery. We have the Kentucky Straight Bourbon that we have right here. It's kind of the main seller. Then we have the rye, which is a, a rye is very, very spicy, very intense. Then we have uh, the malt. They actually do a malt here. I'm not quite sure if they do single malt, but there's the, the highest malt content in there. So it's malted barley. And the fourth one is the wheat whiskey. Wheat is very smooth, very smooth, <laughs> and very, very soft, sweet as well. Not as sweet as a bourbon, but soft and sweet for a, a normal grain, not the bourbon. So this is the, the four, this, uh, four grains that go into the whiskey, but today we only go for the bourbon, which is 51%, uh, at least 51% uh, uh, corn, and then we have some malted barley and probably some rye as well. And if you'd like to go deeper into that one or deeper into the distillery in general, there is a nice distillery video about the Woodford Reserve Distillery for me back in the year 2015. So I'm, I'm gonna stop talking about this three because I'm, I'm about now I'm rambling. Uh, let's have a try at the whiskey. Mm. Oh, it's, it's a sweet, nice American bourbon style smell. So it's caramel, it's vanilla, it's uh, a lovely, wonderful, pleasant oak. Mm hmm. Mm. Whereas the smell is pretty typical for Kentucky Straight Bourbon, the flavor, the taste is pretty intense. Mm. You have a lot of spiciness in it. You, you could almost compare it a little bit to a rye. It's not as T rough and tough as a, a real rye, but it has a lot of rye influence in that. So there is mm, a lot of baking flavors, a lot of nutmeg. There's also a good amount of oak in there. And 
hmm, we do realize there is corn in it, so you do have a good amount of sweetness as well. Mm. Mm. Now that I have it all in my in my nozzle system, when you smell it now, it's much more oak, much more spicy, much more mm, intense also in the nose. So mm, it's not a typical American Kentucky straight bourbon. It's it's more of a intense Kentucky straight bourbon with a lot of spiciness in it. So it's a, a good mixture between sweet and uh, spiciness. Mm, yeah, and uh, the, the official tasting notes say that there is a lot of fruit in it as well. Mm, there is fruit in it. A lot of, mm, no. So um, I think there is a little fruit in it. Most of that, these oxidized dried fruit, there's a lot of cast character in it. So Woodford Reserve is one of the few distilleries that does uh, warehouse heating. Warehouse heating is in during the winter time. Well, now I'm rambling again about the distillery. Um, is when you have the cold warehouse in winter and then you take the excess heat from the distillery and then with that you heat the warehouse and so all the 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 wood all expands again and, and breathe in the whiskey and gives off more of the flavors into the whiskey so um, Woodford Reserve is one of the few distilleries that still do that but I think they expanded they're building more warehouses and because they want to be environmentally friendly, they only want to heat with excess heat. So I'm not sure if all the warehouses are heated during the winter time. But nevertheless, uh, without heating, the whiskey will also be very, very good. Yeah, that's about it for that whiskey. As I said, if you'd like to go to Imprint Woodford Reserve, there's a beautiful video about the distillery. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.